What's up guys, it's Shrex here. Today I'm going to be bringing you, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get three awesome transfer alpha videos that you guys can see in the thumbnail. So this is just going to be a simple video for the transfer outfits, but yeah, so I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get the three transfer outfits or how to switch to your female character right now. But yeah, before we do start, you guys will just want to buy an earpiece because you guys will just want to, it'll be for you to save your outfits later on in the crooked cop, or you guys can buy an earpiece later on in the video. So yeah, so I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to switch to your female character if you guys are new to this. But yeah, so you guys are just gonna wanna hit pause, go, go to online, and you guys are just gonna wanna scroll down to swap character. So once you guys do go to swap character, it should bring you with your male, with your first slot character, which is your male, and your second, bring you with your second slot character, which is a female, If or if it's a male like mine is, you guys can switch it to a female. Just make sure you do scroll to your right, and then you guys are just gonna, make sure you're hovering it should say your character's rank one if you guys do scroll over to your right so as you guys can see oh it's not even a rank but okay but yeah you guys can just click on it and so it'll it'll bring your it'll bring up your character's features which you can change your male into a female if it's not already a female if it does bring up the slot where it shows that you can copy your slot one it doesn't really matter as long as you're rank above or as long as you're above rank 120 then this will work but if you're under rank 120, then your money won't trans transfer over. So you guys might have to work your... You guys might need to get money on your female character for this to work if you guys don't have money on there. So this only works for people that are above rank 120. So I'm just going to hit yes so my money and my rank can transfer over. But yeah, so I'm just going to be switching to my... I'm just going to be switching my character to a female character. And so I'm just going to hit it like that. And so I'm just going to save and continue. I'm not going to name my character because it doesn't matter. But yeah, so after I do take this picture, I'm going to get back to you whenever I do get back to an online session. Okay, guys, so once you do spawn in, you guys can just hit pause and pull up your map. And as you guys can see, I do have clothing stores on the map. But if you don't have any clothing stores on the map, then you guys will need to find a new session. And then you guys can go to any clothing store. It doesn't matter which clothing store. But yeah, so... Don't worry about that guy. <laughs> but yeah, so you guys can just... So I'll get back to you once I do get to the clothing store. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are in a clothing store, you guys, first you guys will just want to go over here to accessories or wherever your accessories are at your store. You're just going to want to make sure your character doesn't have any earrings for this or else this will mess up the glitch. So yeah, my character has only earrings on. If she does have wristbands, make sure you do take those off. Make sure you do take those off also. But yeah, so now we're just going to get into the outfits. So first, you guys are just going to want to go over here to, to shirts or the tops. And you guys are just going to want to look for bust ears. And so it'll be on slot 48, which is bust ears. And so you guys are just going to want to look for the look for the white lace bust ear, which is on slot 17. You guys are just you guys are just going to want to buy that. And so you guys are just going to want to look for sports jackets. And then once you guys are on there, you guys are just going to want to go to slot 49 and that will be, that'll be for the green puffer jacket. So I'm scrolling up to slot 99 and it'll be the sea green puffer jacket. So the sport jacket is on slot 14, just letting you guys know. And then the, the sea green puffer jacket is on slot 99. So after you guys do have that, you guys are just going to want to walk to pants over here. And you guys are just going to want to scroll down to sports pants and it'll be the spotted muscle pants. So the sports pants is on slot four and the muscle pants are on slot one. This will, you will be able to put on any pants once you go on to online. But yeah, so after you guys do have the pants, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to skate, skate shoes on slot four and then buy the gray backside on slot five. This will give you the gray skate or the black skate shoes whenever you go to online. I think it makes the outfits look better in my opinion. But yeah, so after you guys do have the shoes, you guys are just going to want to go over here to accessories. And you guys are just going to want to go to necklaces on slot 18. And you guys are just going to want to go to the My My Blackheart necklace on slot 11. This will give you the checkerboard bow tie, which I really like with this outfit. But yeah, so after you guys do have that, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to gloves. And you guys are just going to want to go to slot 50, the black woolen gloves. This will give you the black fingerless gloves whenever you guys go back to your male character, which makes the outfit look good too. So after you guys do have that, you guys are just gonna wanna walk over here to glasses, and you guys are just gonna wanna scroll down to casual glasses and look for the copper marbles. This will give you the checkerboard glasses. 
But yeah, so after you guys do have that, you guys can save it on slot one. If I am going too fast for you guys, you guys can just rewind the video a little bit. Just That's just a little heads up. But yeah, so we're just going to save this on slot one. And I'm just going to name this outfit Black Slaves because this is just going to give you the Black Slaves whenever you go to online. And we can put on any shirt whenever we do get on the online. So this is just going to be a good outfit. Okay, so... Now that I did name it black sleeve, now we're just going to be working on our second outfit, which this will give you the white sleeves. So you guys will basically just need go go to Bustiers on slot 48, and you guys are just going to want to scroll up to Teal Lace Bustier, which this will be the blue, the blue basically, the blue Bustier on slot 13. So you guys will need to buy that. And so after you guys do have that, you guys are just going to want to go all the way back over here to accessories. And you guys are just going to want to go to necklaces. And I'm going to take off the necklace because the necklace for this outfit, I don't think really looks that good. It's just going to be with a white t-shirt. I don't know. I don't really like it, but it's up to you guys. So, but if, if it's too late and you guys like decide to put it on and you guys don't like it, then you guys will have to redo the glitch. But yeah, so you guys will be able to keep the gloves and it's only, it's your, you guys will only be taking off the necklace. So you guys can save this on slot three. So make sure there is a slot or there is a space between one and three. So on slot two, it'll say empty. So I'm just going to name this outfit white sleeves. Okay guys. So now we're going to be working on our other black sleeve outfit. I just, I just decided to separate it just to make, just to like show you guys what the thumbnail is. So uh, it's just going to be the exact same order my thumbnail is. So it's just going to be the black skeleton, the white shirt, and then it's going to my the other outfit's just basically gonna have a black shirt with like some type of necklace looking design on it but yeah so you guys are just gonna want to scroll all the way down to bus steer which is on slot 48 and you guys are just gonna want to scroll all the way down to white lace bus steer which is slot 17 and so we're gonna be putting back on the checkered bow tie which makes the outfit look really good i really like this so you guys are just gonna scroll down the necklaces on slot 8 and just look for the my my black heart necklace which is on slot 11 so after you guys do have that you guys can save this on slot 5 so i'm just going to name this black sleeve 2 so you guys will just basically want to put on the your first outfit that you made and so after you guys do have the outfit, the first outfit that you made you guys are just going to want to pull up your interaction menu and just take the easy way out and so after you guys do take the easy way out it's just going to spawn you back in and then you guys are just going to want to hit pause go to online and then you guys are just going to want to scroll down to creator so like i do here i spawn in i'm just going to scroll to online i'm going to scroll all the way down to creator which it should be above swap character so whenever you guys do spawn in it'll bring you these options like create a death match create a team death match create a race etc so you guys are just going to want to scroll down to create a race so the race you guys the, the race that you guys are going to want to click on is the land race. Make sure you guys don't click on any other race or else this will mess it up. So I'm going to click on land race. And so once you guys do spawn in, you guys are just going to want to hit on race detail, the title. I'm just going to, the title doesn't matter. You guys can name that whatever. But yeah, you, the description also doesn't matter. The photo doesn't matter. But this is where you guys are just, you guys are just going to want to pay attention is the maximum players. Make sure you do set that to three and the route type on point to point. If you guys want the race to go a little bit faster, you guys can set your default class to super. But yeah, so after that, you guys can just hit B or circle once, whatever console you're on, and you guys are just gonna wanna teleport all the way to the airport. So after you guys do have that, you guys are just gonna wanna hit placement, and then you guys are just gonna wanna place the trigger, and then like you guys can just put the lobby camera, that doesn't matter, the checkpoints, this is where you guys are just also going to want to pay attention is that make sure your race is at least over one point or over one mile, which is 1.00. So I always make sure my race is 1.05 miles because that always works. I tried a long time ago to just do one mile and that didn't work for me. So you guys are just going to want to make sure you do over one mile. So I'll get back to you whenever I do finish my checkpoints. Okay guys, so now that I got my race length to 1.05 miles, I'm just going to hit I'm just going to back out and hit test race. So once you guys do test race, you guys are just going to want to finish it. And so I'll get back to you whenever I'm about to finish the race. 
Okay guys, so now that I'm about to finish the race, once you guys do fin once you guys are done with the race, it'll bring up this notification. You guys are just gonna wanna hit okay and it'll spawn you back in with the other stuff, like with the other option. You guys are just gonna wanna hit pause, scroll to online, and you guys are just gonna wanna scroll down to choose character. And so whenever you guys whenever you guys do hit choose character, it's gonna bring you back to with your male and your female character. You guys are just gonna wanna scroll to your right and delete your female character make sure you don't delete your male or make sure you aren't hovering over your male character and delete him or deleting him because then i'll just mess up the glitch and that would be sad if you did delete your male character but yeah so you guys are just going to want to make sure you do scroll to your right so as you guys can see mine's a ranked 120 if yours is a rank one then you guys are just going to want to make sure you guys are hovering over her and then you guys are, it's just going to show on the bottom right you guys are just going to want to delete and then you guys are, this is just to make sure you do confirm that you are deleting your character. So I'm just going to confirm that I'm deleting my female character. And so after you guys do that, make sure you do go back to story mode. It'll say return to GTA 5, which is B for Xbox or circle for PlayStation. A lot of people forget that. So make sure you do return to Grand Theft Auto 5, which is story mode. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to story mode. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are into story mode, you guys are just gonna wanna hit pause and then scroll all the way to online. And you guys are just gonna wanna scroll down to play GTA Online and then just go to an invite only session. Okay guys, so whenever you guys do load back in, you guys are just gonna pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and make sure you guys do have your outfits that you did make from earlier. So as you guys can see in my left hand corner, I do have the outfits that I did make from earlier from transfer outfits. So yeah, so now we're just gonna go to the clothing store, so I'll get back to you then. Okay guys, so now that we are at the clothing store, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top and pants that you guys will wanna put on for this outfit, for the first outfit. So you guys are just gonna wanna go to pants right here. You guys are just gonna wanna go to jeans and put on the midnight camo fitted, which is on slot 41. So after you guys do have that, you guys are just gonna wanna walk over here to shirts. And you guys are just going to want to scroll all the way down to designer t-shirts. So designer t-shirts is on slot 27. And you guys are just going to want to put on the VDG skeleton t-shirt, which is on slot 13. It might be a dip on a different slot for you guys, I'm not sure. But this is on the slot for me. So yeah, so after you guys do have that, it's on slot 13. Or it's just called the VDG skeleton t-shirt. So you guys are just going to want to put that on and put the pants on that I told you. And so after you guys do have that, you guys can start up a crooked cop. So you guys are just gonna wanna hit pause, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, scroll all the way down to verses, and then just start up a crooked cop. Okay guys, so whenever you guys are in a crooked cop, you guys are just gonna wanna make sure your clothing is set to player owned. So you guys can have a friend or a random, it doesn't matter. Just make sure your clothing is set to player owned and then you guys can just and so once you guys are in the session, it'll bring you to this like little slot where you guys are able to change your outfits. You guys are just going to want to scroll one time to the right. And as you guys can see, your outfit should look like this with the VDG t-shirt, the skeleton t-shirt, the bow tie, and the checkered glasses with the gloves and everything else. So yeah, so after you guys do have that, you guys can just ready up. And so once you guys do spawn in, you guys are just going to want to buy an earpiece. I forgot to say that earlier because you guys might have like not bought the earpiece er like earlier in the video. But then you guys are just, you guys, I don't know, probably forgot now. But yeah, so I'm just telling you guys that now. But yeah, so you guys are just, once you guys do spawn in, you guys are just going to want to pull up your, your interaction menu. And then you guys are just going to want to go to style, go to style, and then scroll down to accessories and press once left on gear. And it should bring the it should put on the LCD earpiece. If you guys if it does put on the rebreather or whatever for you guys, then you guys can just restart the glitch and just restart and it should put the stuff back together and you guys can just make sure you do put on the LCD earpiece. So after you guys put on the LCD earpiece, you guys can just leave the session. Okay guys, so once you do spawn in wherever you guys spawned in, make sure you do go to a clothing store. And so whenever you guys do go to a clothing go to a clothing store, you guys will want to save this under the outfits that you did make. So as you guys can see, I do have outfits from slot 5. So you guys can save this. I'm just going to save it on slot 10 to just be safe. So I'm just going to name this black sleeve like I did with the other outfit. Okay, so now that I did save it, 
we're gonna delete the outfit on slot one. So then, yeah, we're gonna delete on slot one. So now we can just work on our second outfit. So for our second outfit, you guys will just wanna go over if, okay, so actually before we do start, if, you're, if, if your bulletproof helmet does glitch on like this, this isn't part of the glitch yet. So we're gonna be working on the mask and helmet later. But yeah, if your helmet does look, if it does glitch on like this, don't worry, cause this, it's not gonna be like this yet if, if you guys don't have it on, but yeah. So we're gonna be working on our second outfit. So you guys are just gonna wanna go to designer t-shirts again. And so whenever you guys go to designer t-shirts, you guys are just gonna wanna, okay, you guys will wanna put on the white striped Maynard t-shirt, which is on slot 46 on designer t-shirts. So you guys are just gonna wanna put this t-shirt on and the designer t-shirt is on slot 27. So yeah, so after you guys do have that, you guys should be wearing the same pants, so you guys will be fine. And then you guys are just gonna wanna start up Crooked Cop again. Okay guys, like I said earlier, you guys are just gonna make sure your clothing is set to player owned and you guys can have a friend or a random, it won't matter. But yeah, so now we're just gonna wait for the host to start it up. Okay guys, so once you guys are in here, you guys are just gonna go to your owned outfits and scroll one time to the right, and this is what your outfit should look like. Like I said, you guys weren't supposed to put the checker, checkered bow tie unless you really wanted it, but yeah, this is what the outfit would look like without the checkered bow tie. So yeah, after you guys do have that, you guys can just ready up. Looks like the guy's doing the same glitch as me, just with a different shirt. So yeah, if you guys do wanna do it with different shirts, you guys can do that. It doesn't have to be the exact same shirts like I have. But yeah, so after you guys do have that, you guys can just ready up. Wow, that's funny. The guy's actually doing almost the same thing, just a different top. But yeah, so after you guys do spawn in, you guys can just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, press once left on the D-pad and it should put on the LCD earpiece. And now you guys can just drive to the clothing store and then you guys can leave. Yeah, so I'm driving over here to the clothing store and now that I'm in front of it, so you guys can just spawn in front of the clothing store and now now once you guys are in front of the clothing store, you guys can just leave the job. Okay guys, so now that we are in the clothing store, you guys can save this under your outfit that you did make from earlier. So um, so my uh, my first outfit was on slot 10. I'm gonna save this on slot 11, and I'm just gonna name it white sleeve, like I did from the earlier outfits. Okay, so after you guys do save that on a different slot, you guys can delete the outfit on slot three. And now we're gonna be working on our last black sleeve shirt. So you guys already have the camo, you guys already have the camo pants on. And so just to make this a little bit faster, I'm just gonna to go to slot. I'm just gonna put my black sleeve shirt on. Put on my black sleeve shirt. And so it should just, my shirt should be like right above it that I want. So I'm just gonna scroll up to designer t-shirts. My designer t-shirts which is on slot 27 and you guys are just going to want to go to the vd vdg collar t-shirt which is on slot 12. so your outfit should look like this and you already have the midnight camo uh jeans so you guys can just start up crooked cop again okay so if you guys are a host make sure you do set your clothing to player owned just like just giving you guys a heads up because back then whenever i was new to this i just couldn't I just forgot to put it on uh, player owned or clothes. I forgot to put it on player owned because I'm an idiot and yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess my friend's gonna join. I wonder if he's doing the same thing. But yeah, so I'll get back to you whenever we are in this, whenever we are in the part on changing outfits. Okay guys, so now that we are here, you guys are just gonna wanna go to owned outfits and scroll one time to the right. And as you guys can see, this is what your outfit should look like. It looks pretty nice. So after you guys do have that, you guys can just ready up. I'll be showing you guys how to put the mask and helmet on, like as you guys can see in the thumbnail. Uh, it makes the outfit just look really clean, but yeah, so I'll get back to you whenever I do load in. Okay guys, so whenever you guys do spawn in, just like I did from earlier, just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, and press once left on the D-pad on gear, and it should put on the LCD earpiece. And so after you guys do have that, you guys can just pull up your interaction menu, or not your interaction menu, your phone, and you guys can just leave the job. Okay guys, so whenever you guys do spawn in, you guys can just go to the clothing store if you're not already in front of it. And so once you guys are inside, you guys can save this outfit, so. 
I'm just gonna make sure my character takes off his helmet. If you guys do wanna take your earpiece off for your outfits, you guys can just go to style, go to accessories, and make sure you're on gear, or whenever you guys are on gear, press right once on the D-pad, and it will make the earpiece go away. So you guys can save it on that. And so now I'm gonna be saving this on slot 12. So I'm just gonna be naming it Black Slave Number Two because I don't wanna get these outfits confused even though I can just click on them and whatever. But yeah, <laughs> so I'm just gonna name it Black Slave 2. And so now I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to transfer your mask or your, yeah, the mask and helmet over to these outfits. So we're gonna be working on our third outfit. So I'll get back to you whenever I do get to the mask store. Okay guys, so hopefully you did save your outfits, but your checkered bow tie and your glasses will disappear, but you guys can make them come back just, just before you guys probably get mad or whatever. But yeah, so you guys are just going to want to go over here to mask, scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 17, and look for the black tight ski. So as you guys can see, the glasses and checkerboard bow tie did disappear. And so after you guys do have that, you guys are just going to want to scroll up to bulletproof helmet. As you guys can see, the ski mask and helmet did, uh, did come together. So we're just going to be doing the telescope glitch to get these, uh, to get the mask and all like the components together. So you guys are just going to want to go over here on the other side of the pier and you guys are just going to want to do the telescope glitch. So I'm just going to hop off my oppressor and you guys are just going to do the telescope glitch. So you guys are just going to want to run and then just hit right on the D-pad, like right whenever you're running by it. So as you guys can see, your outfit should be like this where your mask and helmet do disappear. So I named it Black Sleeve 2. And so that's the outfit that this is. So I'm just gonna hit it. I'm just gonna hit that. And I'm just gonna walk away. So as you guys can see, the mask and helmet did come together and the checkerboard glasses and bow tie. So this is really good. So now we're just gonna save this at the at the mask store and then we're just gonna be working on our second outfit. We're basically just gonna be putting the same mask and helmet on for these three outfits. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go over here to the mask store and I'm gonna save this on slot 12. Or whatever whatever slot you just uh, whatever slot you save the outfit on. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be working on the, the white shirt. So if you guys do get it, that's good. So we're just gonna be going to 17 and we're just gonna be put on the black ski mask. So as you guys can see, the checkered glasses did disappear. And then you guys are just gonna wanna go to slot 18 on hats and go all the way down to the black bulletproof helmet. Now we're just gonna be doing the telescope glitch. Okay guys, so now that we are at the telescope, you guys are just going to want to do the telescope glitch, so you guys are just going to want to run and hit right on- I failed. Okay. You guys are just going to want to run and hit right on the D-pad, so as you guys can see, my helmet and mask did disappear. So you guys are just going to want to pull up your action menu, go to style, and go to the white sleeve, which it should be like this. So you guys can just walk away, and so whenever you, whenever you do walk away, your outfit should look like this with the checkered bow tie, or with the checkered glasses and with all your stuff like the helmet and mask. I don't know who this is, but hello. Hopefully this person doesn't kill me. But yeah, so after you guys do have that, you guys can just save this all the way at the at the mask store again, and then we're gonna be working on our other outfit. Okay, so now that we are at the mask store, you guys can just save this on whatever slot you did save the white sleeve on or whatever you guys named it. But yeah, so I'm just gonna delete this so then I just don't like run into it whenever I'm trying to do the glitch. So now we're gonna be working on our final skeleton t-shirt outfit. So you guys are just gonna wanna basically do the same thing. Just go to the ski mask on slot 17, buy the black ski. I should probably hit on the outfit first. And so you guys are just gonna wanna go to the mask, buy the black ski, and then you guys are just gonna wanna go over to hats and buy the black bulletproof helmet on slot 18. Or that's where the bulletproof helmets are and then buy the black bulletproof. So now we're going to do that. And now we're just going to do the telescope glitch. Okay guys, so we are at the telescope. Now I'm just going to be telling you guys how to do it again. Just run. And you guys are just going to want to hit right on the D-pad. The big gay won the checkpoints with this guy. Okay. And so after you guys are here at the telescope, your outfit should glitch like this with your mask and your helmet disappearing. So just click on the outfit with the outfit that has the skeleton on and you guys can just walk away. As you guys can see, the components did combine. And so after that, you guys can just go save this right at the mask store. But yeah, so after you guys did save it, you guys can move it to slot 1, 2, and 3 if you want, if it does bother you. But yeah, that'll be all for the outfits. I hope you guys did enjoy these 
nice outfits. I really like these outfits. People were requesting for them. But yeah, if you guys like want it, if you guys want me to make any outfits, like if you guys have any suggestions, just leave them down in the comments. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy these easy, nice outfits. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.